Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. She looks like one of those rap guys girlfriends. Okay, before this video starts, listen, I know that I'm the only Final Fantasy YouTuber that's probably going to talk about Ashley. No, there's actually another one, and his name is Dark Kefka, and his video inspired me to just kind of do my own little version of it as well, but not so on the topic of it, what he was talking about, but go check out Dark Kefka, he is such a good YouTuber, but today, what we're going to talk about is Final Fantasy with big butts and big boobs. To me, okay, before you call me a pervert or whatever, call me a pervert all you want, okay? I like the females, okay? I like the chicks in general okay if you can't accept the fact that i like females then i don't know if i i don't know if it's worth any time arguing with you at all but today what we're going to talk about is just big butts and big boobs in final fantasy and you know yes square Enix is the real pervers of this whole thing because they develop it they basically do it and of course they know they know deep down that they are going to get a lot of attraction from it from people who play it and really it all started from final fantasy 7 for sure all because of tifa all because of tifa's boobs and whatnot you know in that big cutscene as well where she you know her freaking hangers were freaking going crazy on the airship it was all because of that it was all because of that and that's where it all started and you know so many people do like designs and different, you know, pervert and you know, hentai and stuff that of, of Tifa and whatnot. But that's not Square, that's just other preferred to people taking it to the next level. So that's not Square doing that, that's just other people doing that. But it continued on. FF8 didn't really have anything really uh, preferred it in it, I don't think so, not that I recall, um, Final Fantasy 9, no, it would be very weird if they did it, because there is, uh, bas they're basically all children in that game, so it would be really weird if they did something with that, but for Final Fantasy 10, we all know that it started off with Lulu, <laughs> and Lulu, especially in the HD remaster, where basically her, ho her boobs were just freaking swagging and swinging around all they please at the victory, uh, pose and whatnot, and then 10 2 just basically just started all this kind of stuff where Yuna, the innocent Yuna in Final Fantasy 10, now changed into small booty shorts Yuna with Riku and what, and, and then also Riku, who is like you know 16, 17 years old, who is barely wearing any clothes at all, and then uh, Final Fantasy 11 came around. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy 11, I don't know how much gear, uh, different types of gear in Final Fantasy 11 is, because I didn't really play it too, too much, but, uh, in Final Fantasy 14, Realm of the Warren, you have swimsuits, you have freaking all these damn costumes where you can show off your character as much as you want, and final, do you do that? Yes, I do do it! Do you know why? I don't know, I just like females, bro, is that, is that a problem? Is that a problem? Uh, for Final Fantasy Twelve, the biggest thing in there was probably Ash and her. I, honestly, there's two good things about Ash, okay? One, Ash is probably the strongest in the whole game. Personally, I use Ash the whole damn game because she she was just so damn powerful, dude. And then also, I would always make her my leader because her butt, dude, just freaking shakes way too much and of course that's the attraction of course people are going to do that and square neck does this for these little things and you know yes it does get attention but is that the whole point of the game no it's just small little you know hey uh, yo you look good does it really matter to me it does not really matter you know i know it offends a lot of people and whatnot and i would understand from your stand a point and whatnot but it's not like it's encouraging anything at all you know and i mean Yes, it's a teen rated game and whatnot, but for teen rated, it ain't that bad. Like, compared to other games, it ain't too, too bad, to be honest. And, um, let's see. Final Fantasy 13. The original Final Fantasy 13 was all good. Just the noises of Peniel was basically, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. That was probably, you know, it wasn't really. People just fought. People just fought that she was getting banned up. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 too. The only thing was Sarah's bikini costume, and did I get it? Yes, I did get it. Did I use it all the damn time? Even when I replay the damn game? Yes, I p equip it all the damn time, anytime that I want. Uh, and then Lightning Returns is when is where they took it to a completely different what level. 
and basically you can make uh, lightning who is a soldier strong girl you know not faint of that girly girly type of stuff or at all and then you can basically make her look like a stripper in the game all you want basically <laughs> and there's not there's a lot of costumes and I would say 10 of those costumes uh, you can basically make her into a stripper but am I complaining no I actually damn liked it and uh, I yes did I use the basically all the time Yes, I did. Did I like it? Yes, I did. Did I complain to Square? No, I said Square. Why not you add more some DLC costumes of lightning that I can purchase? Because knowing me, I would freaking buy it. And then for Final Fantasy 15, final and last, and probably this, this cycle of sexy girls in Final Fantasy is probably going to continue Sydney. And that's when things really just got out of crazy where people actually you know made a voice about it where hey this is this is ridiculous sydney like she's barely wearing any clothes her freaking shorts are up to her freaking you know fa -fa. and uh you know people were go saying too sexy about you know sydney and whatnot and square did respond to it and they st they said it was ridiculous they said okay you're commenting about this right now like like basically to put it into harsh words but they said it in a much nicer way but to put it in harsh words they said are you kidding me you basically never complained about the other Final 50 girls that we made in Final 50 games from now you're complaining about this one like I don't understand and Riku wears less clothes than Sydney did, did people complain about Riku yes some but did it make this did it make such a highlight of how Sydney did no it did not at all so I don't know, there's a lot of new people coming to the Final Fantasy community, and, you know, I, just, I guess they just don't understand of how Square does things, I guess. You know, of course, in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know they're going to make Tifa sexy. You, all, We all know that they, she is going to look so damn fine in that game, but she definitely will be, and will people complain? Um think so i really don't think so i think the only people that will complain is the newcomers coming to final fantasy community and that's just it so anyway kubos that is my whole thing about this uh, boobs big boobs and big butts in final fantasy what do you think about this whole thing do you do you care like do you actually deep down care about them doing it and does it actually offend you if it does I'm not hating on your opinion, that's your opinion, but you can let me know in the comments below why you feel that way. And don't get me, I won't hate on you, I'll respect you 100% of how, why you like that. But to the other people who do agree and say, I don't care, I actually do like it, let me know in the comments below what we think about it as well. So anyway, Kubos, you let me know in the comments below, and yes, big boobs, big butts, all the day, all day, every day. And Tifa, I'm coming for you. Anyway, Kubos. Hope you enjoyed our final, and I'm out. Kubo, Kubo, see ya.